the board comes in. Earth's on the high ground, getting slowed down a bit. Even a kinetic field being dropped here. A rumble at the north rune. Who grabs it? Alchemist wants it. No-Tail does get it. Even if he goes down, not too shabby. A one-for-one one as far as the bounty roots go. But No-Tail will give up the first blood, and they might get fly as well. Running down the ledge. A secondary kinetic field dropped on point again. Jerax showing up. More likely we see a kill onto the Alk if he's not careful. No-Tail. There's the cross, the roll. It's a whip from Crit, a rare one at that. And No-Tail may pay the Piper here. Glips back by Jerax. Three heroes descending on the kinetic field. Doesn't quite clip him, but it doesn't matter. Liquid would get the kill anyway. Uh, not like that, buddy. <laughs> no stacks for you, sir. Oh, No-Tail. No oh, what a rune. Wow. A man. fortuitous haste saves the day, but... Still, no tail spending a lot of time here running for dear life as Kuro gonna blink on him. They still go for this. They've already got the static storm and Thana shreds him. Between these two teams over those matches, appears to be in the driver's seat for this fourth. And they jump onto no tail there. The F damage coming out. Now the cloud as well. No tail. He needs the radiance. It's gonna be delayed for another day. Liquid still hanging around the timber cell, healthy and Fada moving in for additional juicy kills. Meanwhile, Matumba Man fairly low, has the Aegis, it may end up popping here. Oh, it will lose it, but still, they've gotten some additional momentum out of this, getting the out kill. Round two, let's fight. He's gonna blink away. High ground though is OG's if the fight breaks out oh, where I think it will, but cross. mind control. He gets the jump with the two arrow crush, the chain falls coming out, but Matumba Man just ignores it, shrugs it off, charges forward, and now looks for more. Fly on the back line. That Lich ain't going anywhere. Three have fallen. In this oh, tournament. They though. found another Mr. 9K MMR. Can't dodge this one. They get the crush off. The amp damage there as well. They're gonna glimpse it right back into a static storm. He barely makes it out. But Matumba on the chase. Oh, he's gonna play it safe. Could have tried to dive for that they one. Actually, play. he's tr looking for it now from the backside. Come, Spada, the Germans are coming, and OG is running. They get up the chain frost, try to turn the fight, but Fada's too tanky. Kuro drops a secondary cloud, and then they retreat. They might lose Kuro on the way out. The Alk stuns there on the Slardar. Liquid slowly building up an advantage, now up to an 8,000 gold and experience lead, and they find another one. It's No-Tail on the bottom lane. Radiance currently deactivated. Might want to turn that on. And still being pursued out with the cloud there. Kuro blinking in again. It's going to force a big TP reaction. No tail getting completely chunked down here. The chain frost is beautiful for Flyto. They roar Fada. They brain him down. No bloodstone tonight. He's coming back in 10 seconds though. Matumba Man stands his ground. Secondary cloud. The Elk Stun is there. They're going to lose the Ursa. They've lost two cores. Aegis is coming back. The bloodstone TP respawn plays in effect. Seconds away. Matumba Man wants back in, but all the summons canceling his blink for now. Flying OG some room to retreat. The Radiant's still inactive here for No-Tail. Really does need to turn this on if they're going to look to fight as he chases towards Mind Control. Gets off the stun, slowly working on him, and he is going to get glimpsed back for a moment. Finally gets it on, but it seems like already the damage is done. Liquid diving deeper. They've killed off the Life Stealer. They're looking for a fourth. They want Big Daddy keeping the vision. Glimpse. Is he going to be able to get in range for this one? They don't need it. They just beat him down. Death by the Bear Claw. Very mid-game items here. No-Tail now going for BKB in mid. They find the jump. It's on to, well, Crit actually getting the Disruptor kill. He gets Jerax. Yeah, YOLO play from OG, but that's Roar. what they need. They get Matumba, but he's BKB'd already. I believe he still has his ultimate here. He can man up, and man up he will. Bear up, perhaps, the better way to put it. They are tanking this full Chain Frost and charging forward. Liquid engaging on the OG, slaughtering all green heroes before them. Now the crush, no tail next. Big Daddy going down. He, too, will fall for Bite the dust, 30 to 10, it's a rout. And Noon will make it a team wipe very likely. One more chain, Fada drills him, snags the gem, even the courier isn't faster than him. And then chains away, immaculate. That, to that have static storm. Here they go, and Fest Bomb gets it underway, but Matumba PKPs. Not often you see a life stealer taking this kind of punishment in this tournament, but today he is the punching bag for Matumba Man, OG on perhaps their last legs. They are going to try to hold here, but they're down two heroes. No tail. The BKB going to wear off soon. He commits in deep. He gets nothing. And they're going to smoke. Here we go. This could be the big initiation, the last stand for OG. Can they find the oh, pick? No. It's my control. He gets the jump. Come out and play, he says. OG, what do they do, really? Now down a Beastmaster, he'll buy back as well. Static Storm connects on No-Tail, he's gonna have to BKB. They roar Matumba Man, they're gonna look to bring down the Ursa, but a great four staff from Jerex keeps him in fighting shape. Longer and longer, he is surviving through this. Heels up, courtesy of the Cheese, re-engaging, charging forward. No-Tail is still alive through all this, but the Lifestealer has dropped an excellent ultimate. 
simply not enough from Crit. He's just too far behind here on the Earth Spirit. And No Tail now, Big Daddy, and the rest of OG just didn't have it. Liquid, they were ready for the Alk. Crit has still found himself in a good position. And they roll in, they move on to Fada. OG looking to strike first here in game one. It was a double kill and a first blood for Liquid in game two. Beastmaster fully comes online. He is up there with the cores as far as CSGO, but they're rolling in. Connection on Matumba Man, not yet level six. OG are gonna find themselves another kill. The glimpse back a bit too late. Can they punish Crit on the way out? Tower shot with the Wolves might be enough to finish him as Moon threatens to dive onto Jerex here. These Wolves are bringing Crit down though, and he will end up falling. Now they turn on to fly. Free farming for the most Another roll, part. another jump. They still don't have that Beastmaster roar. He's very close. They're diving onto Fada. Omni Slash is ready. Fada does oh. get off the drag until Miracle tried to back up to prevent this, but he's got the phase boots to chase. Omni comes through, decapitates the knight. OG are just moving so well with these two supports. And now they want to try oh, and deal bash. with mind control. They get the bash, the Chrono comes through. Meet the Sunray mind control. Doesn't even need Crit's help. OG have killed all three cores. And they're looking for Jerex too. He TP'd in a bit late to the party. No tail, still beating him down. He needs that bash. Give me a bash, he says. Give me a bash already. Ice Frog, please. There you go. He's overextended he though. He might die for this though. No tail into the trees. The roar actually goes onto crit, so they're going to settle for a support kill. No tail has the time walk out. Should be able to survive just barely at that. But they chase for more. Suddenly Miracle joins the fray. OG with the relentless aggression. They take the fight to Liquid. They look to punish before that big death ball push begins, but Miracle getting dealt with by the boar here. He really needs help. No Tail's also low. The healing ward's dealt with. Mind Control gets the one hero crush. The time walk forward. The bash from Big Daddy. Is he going to get a second? Can't quite. He's closing in on that. Meanwhile, Nami Slash. Miracle moving on to Mind Control. Can he finish him here? Almost in range. The phase boot's now activated. He gets off the Blade Fury, but he tries to slither away. Ain't gonna happen. Meanwhile, bottom lane, Matumba Man dead as well. OG making all the right moves. Bullying Liquid. It, oh, mid lane. On to Miracle, goes for the TP out. The roar, oh, oh no. Kuro! A whiff there from him, and it means Miracle gets out. But Matumba Man races in. The Quick Icarus dive back, and to turn their attention on to the Samurai. Can they bring Miracle down? The Fire Spirit's coming through. Miracle will fall despite the mistake from Kuro. And Liquid still able to transition into a push. Yeah. Shows you just how good their ability to take objectives really is. But now the roll. Crit, counter initiated. He's got the ultimate as well. He's going to drop it too. Starting to bring Kuro low. They're going to scatter Kuro to the north. And it looks like Beastmaster will fall. And meanwhile, Matumba with the wall working against him. Moon, he's got the surge. It's on the like an illusion. It turns oh! into a wall, but it gets him too. Mama oh, gee. Would be proud of that one. You never ever run from me, says Moon. <laughs> that makes it very difficult for OG to play. There's the roll in, but Jerex okay. is ready for it. Dropping the static storm here. Not a very good one, and he's going to get caught out. Will be finished off with a Blade Fury for Miracle. Crit may pay in return, though, as he commits a magnetized mind control. Bringing him down together with the Wolves. They are chasing Mind Control, but he's rather far away. Matumba Man coming into Wolf Form and then says, Get out of my way, Fada. No Tail's Void, and I think he recognizes that the catch against the split push is going to be key. He wants that shorter cooldown. OG streaming in. It's almost like Liquid wanted to bait this one. Crit, it's a trap. Static Storm getting drop of Miracle. Says, Screw up, man. I'm going in. The Necro Book's there. The Omni Slash committed. He's got to run. Kills off the book, but he does get roared on the way out. Elsewhere, the bubble. No Tail trying to lock down Matumba Man. Finish him off. The Wolf will fall. OG getting a core kill, but the Jug looks like he might drop. No! Aegis the Hill Ward, the Aegis, enough to keep him alive for now, but eventually the Jug will fall. That's generally been That's an avoid up. build, and they are going to get eyes here on Fada. He pops the Shadow Blade. He tries to run. They glimpse it back. Do they have detection? You betcha. Can they finish him off, though? That's the question. Moon's there. Karate chops him down, making Moon. Really doing much damage output himself. Needs oh, a transition that into that. illusion. It got a whiff of OG trying to steal the Roche right under Liquid's eyes. Okay. And the Wolves, the fresh pack comes in. This Roche is not dropping quickly enough. They are going to have to fight. Fada moves up to the north under cover of Shadow Blade, trying to move his way in, finding that pick. It would be big, a fresh pack. Emerges. When do they go? Oh, they gee. Know flies up here. They slowly, could silence him. Slowly working on it. Liquid want to go in at exactly the right moment. The I egg say. gets dropped very preemptively. Then the Chrono as well. They finish off the Roche. No tell. Trapping Mind Control in. And they manage to bring him down. And now the wall, the Static Storm, too late. OG have found the Roche. They've gotten their ages. They've massacred two. They're looking for fun as well. The team fight execution virtually flawless. Three down. 
Nevada drops. Can they kill Crow to make it four for one and almost a liking for dinner? Yeah, if he, he has a blink dagger up top, that's possible two, three man chrono. Time walks in, blinks on forward. This time it's a connection. It's onto Matumba Man, but four heroes are coming in reserve. Fada sweep here up from the side. He's got a DD route. This dragon's gonna hurt unless they can focus him. The Omni Slash very much unable to bring him down. And Miracle now getting stunned, turned on by Fada. He's still got the armlet active here, but he is fairly low. He's got to toggle this. No tail jumping in. Miracle staying alive through it all. It's the moon wall! Now they bring down the dragon, the wolf too, and they chase on the jabs. It's about to be four. He tries for the TP. No escape from OG. Absolutely slaughtered. So patient on Moon. He waited out both the like and BKB. Hold the line here, bottom for now, but it's OG looking to come in, and there's the bubble. It's trouble for Matumba. No real help, no save just yet. The back comes through again. He has to BKB, and he runs. He's morphing into Big Bad Wolf, and he doesn't really want to be big or bad. He's just sitting back, unable to engage in this, fearing the follow up damage. They focus fly, though. He doesn't get off the egg. Maybe this is where Liquid make their stand. No tail dropping pretty fast. He does time walk back, and OG start to scramble the retreat. Liquid pursue. Miracle, though, has a Lincoln Sphere on top. He brings down the Necrobox and they roll back in. Crit looking to engage. No tail out fairly far. Fada with the BKP, but he time walks it off. Oh, he he continues the fight and they bring down the dragon. They turn back for Kuroki. Well played, Fearing Jerks. They might just kill them all here. Disruptor down. Crit surging in. He catches another. Continues to deliver. Silencing him. Controlling him and killing off his mind. OG unchecked in the team fights. And the crowd is loving it. Second lane of Brax is theirs. The game within their grasp, a desperation buyback. But can they hold? They have no Dragonite. They just now get the slaughter. There's no Wolf Ultimate. There's no ability Another to take chrono. the fight. And it's Big Daddy again with a wall on top. The kick on through from Crit. Might control. It's about to be a dieback for him. Slardar down. Death by the Miracle Sword. Imbued with the power of a butterfly as well. This is a gigantic juggernaut. He just solo killed a Dragonite essentially with the Omni Slash. Basically the only damage hitting him in that last fight. And that was before this fresh tier 4 item comes out. So now all that stands between him and this game win Another is that Rax. But again, they're going to start with the Chrono. The Static Storm comes out to the side of the bubble. It doesn't matter. Thought is deleted. Liquid just never get to fight with the whole team while the Green Dream persists. And they tap out. They could take no more. Liquid.